Hey guys, so this is my official website tour. Um, this website was made for me by, by Brittany Wang. She used the Wix website um, and to be perfectly honest, it is absolutely gorgeous. I love um, what she put together for me here and I am very, very excited that it is up and running. So, um, yeah, so here's my home page. I really love this. Um, she was able to get my book, which this was really, um, I came home from a funeral and I had a message saying to go check out my um, webpage because she had been working on it. And it was really incredible how she captured the universe behind my book, um, especially this giant star here because uh, the person who had passed away, I referred to him as True North. Um, and I felt like I had lost my true north. So seeing this uh, big bright star really uh, it was just amazing. It really was. It's, it's hard to describe the emotions that I was feeling when I looked at it. So, and then the other thing that I really loved is the colors that she used. And I love flowers and lots of color. Um, and so, yeah, she really incorporated the romance author side into a very functional website. And here's my YouTube channel. So now everybody can come to my website and be able to find all of my uh, good stuff. There are some Instagram photos, which these were fun. These were actually screenshots from a video that I was making and um, yeah I was promoting in my book I believe this is the video that I made a screenshot from the video I made from the actual day I got my books which that was an incredible day so yeah and then down here she has a sign up for my newsletter which I am really excited to start sending out my newsletters because they're gonna have lots of information about the Awakening and the series that goes with that first book um, and then we're gonna have like recipes and other fun things inside the newsletter so I'm really excited about that so here's the about page and one of the things I really appreciate about this Wix website is I had used other websites in the past and I explained to Brittany that um, I just wasn't happy with how they turned out and she was able to take my vision and turn it into something amazing and this is the about section so she has a picture of me and she you know added a little bio and then she has me and my Tala that's me and my son um, we had hiked to the top of this mountain and found a juniper tree that's what this is back here it's a juniper tree and so we were actually collecting juniper berries that you can turn into ghost beads when I took this picture and then this is um, myself and my husband and that was our five-year anniversary we went to the lake that we had spent our honeymoon on and so I love that picture and then me and these are my children and we are doing our favorite thing camping husband and I again me and my kids this is my Alaskan Malmute so this is my Alaskan Malmute Tala and this is her son baby bear and um, they couldn't be any more different I mean he is just lovey-dovey and she's very much, she rules the roost and she's only lovey-dovey with humans. <laughs> so, so yeah, and then this is, this is uh, the view from the mountains here in Southern Arizona. It just really turned out awesome. Um, I really love it. And then there you can sign up for the newsletter again. Um, so then here she has the books 
a book section, and this is for my book. I love how she did this. This was really cool um, because it's, it's an actual book. <laughs> so, and yeah, and then she has a little blurb out of my book, and that was really neat how she got the background. Um, she just did a really incredible, I don't know if you can tell by my excitement, but she did a really incredible job putting it all together and incorporating my book, The Awakening, as much as possible. So, and then here's my blog section, which this was really fun um, to write. And so I, I wrote one about the, the benefits that I have experienced from the essential oil diffuser. And the 742 is actually a recipe that was given to me by a therapist who helps people who have like ADHD um, and ADD to um, feel relaxed and focused and really be able to channel um, the positive energy during their sessions. So, and then this one here, Let Them Eat Cake, uh, this was a really neat um, adventure that one of my sons and I went on and we found this bread um, and the story behind it has everything to do with Mary Antoinette and she is famous for being misquoted at the same let them eat cake and then this blog simple outlining was accompanied with a YouTube video that I had made um, showing how simple outlining really can be because I know that some people are intimidated myself included by outlining so and then this was fun she took and um, we made a list of my YouTube videos and you know my favorite so far my favorite writing resource is definitely hump day writing resources um, where I try to to share my experience and the little tips and tricks that I have learned, um, but by no means am I an expert. And so I thought they're supposed to be fun and they're supposed to be helpful. Um, so everybody loves hump day. Um, and then this one here was a really great idea um, from Brittany as far as like having a set of videos dedicated to my book um, to help bring awareness and promote my book and so this one it starts off with love eternal one and my current work in progress which is love's vengeance is book two um, and that you'll start to see some videos in regards to that too and of course um, I could not leave out my Alaska Malmute Tala these are fun videos with her and her puppies um, because she is such a huge, enormous part of my writing process. And so that was really important for me to share that on my website as well. She's just amazing. And then this is the members page. And I, I never really thought about this when I created my own website myself um, with this other website host. Um, which was a members page. And for the longest time, I was having such a hard time thinking about what I wanted to put on it. But Brittany honestly has a way about her of suggesting ideas without really like telling you this is what you should do. And so as she was kind of throwing out some brainstorming ideas, I thought, oh my gosh, well, like a song, a, a playlist, um, I had never made a playlist before and then shared it on a website and you know she walked me through it which was really cool and then I ended up creating this this song list that I had been listening to while I was writing and now it's here so members get to actually experience some of the same things that I was experiencing during my writing process which was really cool it was really really cool and um so yeah so she taught me a lot of really cool things so and here you can sign up to be a member and then you get your secret little password and you get to see all of the awesome member 
things that I have to share. And then this one, I was so incredibly excited about this page. This page was really exciting because I, you know, she she had suggested that I do like a recommended reads page. And I thought, well, it's a great idea for me to do a recommended reads page because if I actually start a book and make it through all the way without wanting to just burn it in the fireplace, it is a book worth reading because I am a really hard person to please when it comes to the literature that I read. So um, here we have Sarah Sharn Weber's um, suggestion 376, which was really cool because it is also a short film on YouTube. Um, and then we have Minx Kenocha. I hope I said that right, Encounters. And this one is definitely 18 plus. Um, it is for adult audiences only. And there were definitely a couple of places where it kind of took me back. And that's saying a lot because um, it takes a lot to make me squirm. So, and then I um, shared a couple of the other books that I really enjoyed reading. I The Stand is one of my all-time favorites. And then Ophelia by K.M. Rice. Um, and the, she is also an indie author. Um, and so I really want to bring more attention to indie authors. And I just want to share these books that I have read. I, Jesus Calling was one of my favorite devotionals. Um, Modestly is a incredibly intimate behind the scenes um, story of a, a woman who's famous on YouTube and she is also Muslim and so you get to see a side of her culture that you don't normally get to see and I love how she shares it with the world and she she gets so much negative um, feedback by so many people but what she's doing is amazing because her culture really is a culture that is misunderstood by millions of people. And so bringing that and shedding light onto that is just an incredible thing. So I loved her book because here you can go and you can actually contact me. That's what it says, contact me. So you can sign up for my mailing list. You can send me a message if you'd like. Um, yeah, it's just really cool. And then over here are all my social medias where you can buy my books, where you can see goofy pictures, and find me all over the interweb. <laughs> so, so anyway, I really do have to say thank you so much to Brittany Wang. She was incredible to work with, um, and she has given me a website that I am proud of and that I can use and I don't need um, any kind of special training. Um, well, I guess I did have special training. She did send me, you know, helpful tutorials on how to do the things, but working with her has really helped me to really appreciate my website and really love using it. Um, and my family really appreciated it as well because I didn't spend another week of my life banging my head against the wall wishing that I had someone else who could do it because I found her and she did it. So, but I will put her information in the description below and if you are interested in a beautiful user-friendly website she builds websites and she also has a boot camp that you can build it yourself with her guidance through videos um, and I think she has like a workbook as well that goes with that but don't quote me on it because I am not entirely sure but I will put her contact information in the description below and you can ask her all the questions you have so yeah until next time Bye.